So here's what we're going to do, okay? So that we're on the same page and nobody gets their head blown off. <coughs> He's my ass. Gunner, I gotta be honest. He's stinging like a goddamn brick. Yeah, I think we're a bit out of our league here. Yeah, thanks for the pep talk, coach. Alright, wise ass. Look, the most I can say do at this point is take the fall. There's no shame in doing it. Damn it. Holy piss, that went everywhere. Because we weren't on the same page. Also, never was really the biggest fan of that word or any other insult, I guess. But, uh, it's all part of the job either way, it looks like. Wait, what the? Boxing's an extremely specific sport to have on in here. <sighs> Christ, we actually won. Congrats on your win, Hammond. But you can't be grabbing on the girls. You wanna fight? You can barely stand, you're inconsistently bleeding out of your mouth, and I'm almost positive you can't feel anything in your knuckles. One punch from me would knock you on your ass, Hammond. Oh please, I've been hit so many times I forgot how to spell my name. Mm-hmm. Don't say anything. You've been followed all night. Okay. Seriously? I'm so used to people being defensive over me grabbing them like this. Well, you tell me someone is chasing me and then pull me into your sweet embrace. Sounds like that movie Bodyguard with Whitney. Shh! <laughs> so, having a good day? Had better days, gotta be honest. Well. My name is Dennis. I'm going to be torturing you today. Wait, Dennis? No, Dennis. Like Rodman. His name isn't Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Let's see how long the joking lasts when the boss arrives. Ooh, I'm so afraid of a grand slam. What, you got an Oreo milkshake with that too? Ah, boss. We've captured Gunner for you, and he keeps calling me a B-list American breakfast diner. What? I just don't think it's right for him to be making fun of my accent. He's disrespectful to my pe- Gunner, you're gonna learn very quickly that I'm not Denny's. So make a joke and I'll tear you limb from limb. So I'm gonna give you a chance. I'm listening. Tell me where to find the kid. If you say anything else other than that answer, I will yet again tear you limb from limb. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm going to find him either way, but this will make it a lot easier, and you probably won't die, so what'll it be? Your life or the kids? Uh, what happened last night? You were being followed by some bad dudes, and you fell asleep while I brought you back to your hotel room. Fair enough. Did we, uh... No. I just sleep nude. Another fair point. Didn't catch your name. Danielle Sousa, or Danny for short. I'm your new bodyguard. Oh? Like the Whitney, Whitney Houston movie, yes. You've mentioned it like five times in your sleep. Alright, well, do I need to pay you or something? Nah. Okay. Well, can I have more info on why there are goons after me? Nah. Why not? If I knew, I'd tell you. All I know is that I got a tip that someone was after you, and I took initiative. You know, as thankful as I am, we're gonna need to know a little bit more about each other if you're gonna be all Kevin Costner. What do you have in mind? Um, you sure about this, Hammond? Yeah, my coach runs this place. He lets me use it to spar and train. Also, how else would I know if you're a capable bodyguard if I've never seen you in action? Well, I do think that's a good assessment. You got the shit kicked out of you last night. <laughs> I won, though. You pissed blood. A lot of it. Small side effect from winning. How do I go about getting your confidence? It comes with the territory. If you say so, Whitney. Hey, why are there no windows in this place? Oh, dude, this is a stationary borderline safety hazard. Gunner was a strip club owner back in the 70s. What we're standing on are the remnants of that club. You and Gunner sound close. Well, he's my stepdad. My mom was a dancer at the club he owned. She was killed during a gang fight during one of her dance sessions. 
Gonna wanted to change his line of work to training people so things like that could never happen again. Hammond, you okay? What's going on? Yeah, I'm good. Knowing Gunner, he probably forgot to pay the bills again. Yo, could you flick the lock? Get down! Way ahead of you. Something just dropped in front of me. Get away from it and stay down. Okay, I think you've proven yourself. Mom, he's my stepdad. Sweet Jesus, who is that? No idea, but this was definitely a message sent from someone. We need to get you somewhere safe. Duly noted. Yes, Dad, I am perfectly fine. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I just wanted to make sure that you're okay. Dad, I'm fine. You can trust me. Yeah, yeah you're right. Just call me when you get close to the house so I can unlock the door. Alright, I will. Alright, bye. Talk to you soon. Crisscross loves time too. Crisscross love you times two to you too, Dad. L is for the way you look at me. Please, can you not? Oh. Is for the only one I see. I'm seriously not in the mood. He is very, very extraordinary. Mom, he stop! Is even more than anyone that you adore can love. You'll have to excuse me, darling. You know telling me not to do something entraps me to keep going. Why did you call me here? I can't want to check up on you. For you? I'm not buying it. There has to be something you want. Child, there is nothing you have that I need. Trust me. Now that I've lost that bravado, I need something from you. Well, you've gotten yourself in quite the jam. A mystery jam because I still don't know what's going on. What are they whispering with? A goddamn blowhorn? I can hear literally everything they're saying. And you figure just to come here? Well, yeah, it's no big deal. Why didn't you just ask me to be your Costner? I didn't even ask her to be my Costner. Yet yeah, here you are with Femi Costner. Fine, you can be my Costner as well. Danny, meet Bouncer, my other Costner. So? So, Danny. Hmm? What are your thoughts on a dragonous bouncer such as yours truly? Make a better PB&J, and we'll talk. While I do love the fact that you two are getting along pretty well, there are gunny people with guns who want me to die. With guns. You're right. The only clue I have is this guy I was torturing who was watching your last match live. And? Your last match was pay-per-view, right? So that just means someone knew beforehand and probably placed a few bets. Bingo. It was either follow you or the guy you were in the ring with, so I flipped the coin and you won the draw. So it's a simple, somebody wanted me to take the fall for money. Which, honestly, I would have been down for. But I was never told. Isn't that the kind of thing they ominously tell you before the match? That's true. So that means someone was responsible for telling you, but didn't. Well, why wouldn't they? That seems like something important to tell. Important is probably an understatement. It's definitely the coach guy. Why would he hide it? I'll do some digging. You guys stay here. Bounce, could I trust you to watch him? Aye. Alright, I'll call you guys every 30 minutes to check up on you. So she's nice. She's single, right? You sure did it this time. But I mean, I had to take. Where am I? What's going on with me? Nobody is here, Miss Boss. Someone, Someone must, must have, have them, off. them off. Yes, but who? but who? I don't know, but we need to find Danny. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? 